and at that point, you're like kind of at yep. risk of getting hit by a different angle header. It's sure. There's a lot of nuance to the projectile play. And I feel like we're going to see a repeat performance of it as Grand Finals presents us with Zamba from the top end. He's sitting in the winner's side. He just needs the two games to close it out tonight. Or will Numbers be able to reset the bracket and keep us here just a bit longer? Well, this is going to be an interesting one. John has just been on a plow with who loses is completely. Um, and Zamba, I, I like a lot of the way that he's been adapting to that today. I feel like a lot of his game ones, um, he might be playing a little bit too aggressively. He might not always know like his best ledge grabbing options. But then over the course of the match, he really knows how to find those kills when he needs to. And he adapts to the game plan so well. Now this presents a bit of an issue for Zamba because when it comes to adaptation, as the player you need to lock down the pacing by which a player controls the game, Numbers has a very unorthodox sense of control because you're expecting his ledge play to result in a far slower pace. Then he comes around, projectiles ablazing, deep breathing boosted, and he's dealing immense amounts of damage and taking leaks of stage control. Oh, is that back there gonna do it? No, no, no deep breathing on deck, not gonna be able to find it quite yet. There that you go. Will. We fit as kill throws, so not even shielding at the ledge though is gonna be safe. Hey, you asked, he delivered. Great chase from the down tilt, and now that is Zamba controlling the stage. Love the idea, but would have needed to full hop to be able to properly compensate for John's height. His buttons are going to be faster in that position. Down in, as big as it is, that move is slow. And I'm so glad you brought up the speed of these buttons, because I actually feel like that's going to be a pivotal factor in how well Rob is going to be able to beat out We Fit in the air. Because anything you commit to, you're taking up a lot of space. You have to preemptively... Yeah, yeah we're, not just not, we're just not feeling it? We're just not here for it. He just he's just gone to the next game. Yeah, I don't think Rob. It's is a play of attrition. Here. If you down three stocks to one against John, honestly, I kind of felt that. It's definitely a rough deal for Zamba, but probably in the grand scheme of things, worth doing. Oh, he's just sticking on Rob as well. Now, see, I was expecting either the Roy or the Link to come out because then you would change up the general But then you don't approach. have recovery mix. And if you don't have recovery mix against Zamba, you're dead. Oh, excuse me, against John, you're dead. Because he can catch you with Haru, he can catch you with Sun Salutation, and then he chases you so low with all of his spikes. So, honestly, when you have that kind of cushion that Rob just gives you, you can go high, you can go to the ledge, you can do double jump neutral to get back onto the stage. You, you just have that mix that you need. I definitely agree. Like, matchup-wise, this is probably the best in Zamba's arsenal for fighting the likes of We Fit, especially, like, numbers is, that goes from playing passively to just in your face. Mm -hmm. But you really need to figure out how to match that tempo because you put yourself in these situations where numbers really isn't overextending. He's just reacting to where Rob is moving around. Knows his buttons are stronger, knows his buttons are faster, and is just playing the game accordingly. You press your buttons too quickly as Rob, and you're going to suddenly start getting with punished a lot. You press them too slowly, and suddenly numbers, his superior buttons are just getting there in time. So Zamba just needs to still mess around with that sweet spot of when I should actually be pressing these buttons relative to what distance of we fit, not able to get the arm go to hit into itself, and John with the best punish. Ooh. Yeah, no, we're right back to square one. We're down two stocks. Numbers just sort of playing his game. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be there as, as a gob. Yeah, that's, no. That's John's ledge. Wow, but what a beautiful jab lock once again. Nobody's ready for those down tilt jab lock setups. It's a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, because if you're not put in a situation where you have to attack, you're just in down tilt hit stun, which from many characters leads into more down tilts. Oh, Zamba tried to get greedy there. I saw that back there. I like that numbers didn't overextend any deeper. Great maneuverability, just able to get fully past that up smash. And this game still definitely within Zamba's control. Um, he's just controlling this ledge so well, but there it is again. When you already have an active hitbox out there, and your spacing is not tight as Rob, you're just gonna get caught in your startup frames. You know, I brought up this notion earlier where like you're, you might be losing badly, but you haven't lost until your opponent's on the windscreen. Yep. So for Zamba, even though we're in a situation that nearly mirrors game one, like you're, it's still in your best interest to fight this one out, especially while you've got a stock down on numbers, you've got him at high percentages, and as you're playing more and more, you're getting that idea of how to get in on numbers. Because even though numbers is excellent at executing his game plan, 
it's still a finite game patience. plan. Look at that there are patience. still holes in the wall. Look at that patience from Zamba. He understands from that up tilt, I don't have a way to be able to kill right now. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to wait for you to press a button that you really shouldn't be. And now this is Rob controlling the ledge. Anything can happen. Look, we've brought ourselves into, all things considered, this is an even game state. Rob is heavy bleeding, and we think can kill at a moment's notice. But with Gyro in hand, Zamba can take oh. it all back. But that header is just going to go back to really bite Zamba. And is the back going to be able to do not it? Without no, the deep breathing. not quite, baby. Heavyweights. Gets him every time. This is so dangerous. Zamba is genuinely playing with fire. Just enough time to be able to get that shield. Down is this going to be the kill? Oh, what a what good air dodge! <laughs> we have no actual words for that one. That was just really good from Zamba. Sticking it out to 200%! This game's ugly, dude. That game was ugly. Yeah, this was grim. This is what war looks like. <laughs> look, look, look. I want everybody to see just how evil this was. So, we're advancing in the pressure. Up so Yo, He looks weird during that. <laughs> but we only get the first hit. Only the first hit. Zabba's in grab release. He pops up John and gets the up in. My man really said, fuck it, we ball. We used up smash one as oh his combo God. starter. That's so bizarre. But it did wonders, because now we're in game three. Zamba one game away from taking this tournament tonight. He could do it. If I'm John, I'm tight. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I don't think I've ever seen up smash one to up air. Up smash one to up air. What, you don't know my, With my max favorite follow-up? Because he's at 200%. And, like, and the only reason... Zombo was able to get that follow-up to begin with is because the end lag was replaced by the end lag of a grab release instead, which is significantly less, which I think pretty funny. Oh, uh, it's comical. But now it brings us into a situation yeah. where Zombo's had enough of this, Numbers has had enough of this, but they could both very well bring themselves to that game state all over again. But the pressure is that much higher on both players. Zamba just now sitting patiently at the ledge, maybe trying to catch a jump, but I don't believe we've seen a single jump from ledge from, uh, from Numbers this whole time. It's always been dropped down, headed, neutral, get up, and goals in. But amazing coverage. Not going to take that stock quite yet, but he has all of the stage control that he needs. Just really solid presence of mind from Zamba because the down smash doesn't really give him the situation where he's overextended. That close in laser will. Mm -hmm. That's just unfortunate. Oh! They're still able to catch a neutral get up. And now this is, uh, yeah, that was just a really good stock from Zamba. He positioned himself. He waited for John to commit to something that he shouldn't. Once again, people, they love throwing out projectiles to keep themselves safe when they're getting back onto the stage. It forces an opponent to sit in stage and shield. But if they know it's coming and they know how to move around it, you're going to get whiff punished and die much sooner than you normally would too. Additionally, we saw that arm rotor off the ledge uh, somewhere in game one. And because Zamba fell off the ledge to do it, it didn't work. Numbers was able to DI out of it and get away scot free. Here, Zamba opted to hold the ledge. He opted yep. to stay He's on He's not the dropping stage. down. And just like that, he is not losing the stage control that he needs. Because even if he whiffs it, guess what? He has enough time to be able to ledge trap. Yeah, and he's looking fine because of it. These little bits and pieces of damage he's getting are maintaining a lead, albeit a small one. But controlling the ledge as Rob is so dangerous. John is picking a lot of these options so hastily. Beautiful conversion. Wow. <laughs> I believe our producer's been replaced with a Muppet from <laughs> what I can hear. <laughs> but I don't blame him. The pressure's so hard for numbers right now because you had such a confident game John's one not patient that enough. your opponent forfeited their last stop. John game is two came down to the wire. Now, numbers is losing control. Numbers doesn't have a lot of percentage onto Zamba, and Zamba has that full stop lead. This is huge because now Zamba is dictating the pace of this match. The, the biggest thing that I feel like John, he is always pressing another button after Zamba whiffs his first ledge trap option. He's not holding shield, he's not just staying in place, he's always dashing in or jumping in to try to get there as soon as possible. And it's because that worked in games one and two. He saw that Zamba was over committing time and time again. Now, we have a Zamba who's learned his lesson. He's burnt his hand on the proverbial oven enough times to realize he has to go for safer options. But Numbers hasn't caught up to that point yet. And because of that, 
he is eating so much damage and being pressured into the corner instead of safely retreating to it. Oh, and then that Sun Salutation Zombo was just simply not good. He foiled. It's going to give Numbly's the coverage that he needs to be able to get back on. And now that is a Weefit offstage in a dangerous position. Keeps on going aggressively in Zomba. Not ready for it. He's not pressing those buttons soon enough. Dash attack does it. We're on last stocks. <laughs> oh, the Chiro ate the biggest of hits. I think something funny is going to happen. Oh, it's you know it is. You know, regardless of which player wins this out, it's going to be goofy. Oh, That's that just the way these characters are. Going? That's the way these players have made this set become. Oh, Zom, but none of, this, none of these lasers have been doing all that much for him. They haven't been calling out headers, and Numbers have just been consistently shielding them. And you see, no longer Numbers is dashing in after Zomba whips his first ledge option. I would argue the lasers are eliciting a reaction from Zomba. And that's what's really giving Zomba this leverage to press is further this be it? and further. Down throw, it's an up smash, it's not enough. And low profiles, laser too, not gonna be hit by it quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not a good grab, but that's an even worse response as the down smash is not enough. Oh, the scramble is heavy, and Zamba just yeah, barely fighting his mark. Up throw oh. kills off the plat, and Zamba takes tonight's Zeno. We, we survived. We did it, Dara. We survived. Oh, Houston, we have liftoff. <laughs> it dies at 159. The quickest of get-ups from the chair. The most simple of pop-offs from Zamba. But it was well-earned. Oh, uh, Saifa! <laughs> oh. There was just no header ball there. There was no time to retreat. And you were right below a plat. So you were done, son! Oh, I love that. <laughs> little pop -o. Oh, the chair slide! Hold on, hold on. The roll it back just a The chair slap! <laughs> oh. See, that wasn't so bad. This is what's going on in your own backyard. This is what you got to deal with every week. This is what we tune in for. It's Xeno Weeklies. Every Wednesday, you get a piece of the action. <sighs>